I'm not used to talking to myself in the gym. I feel so weird. But. Hmm. I normally start with my lap pull down. And today, I have the mag grip. Or the mag grip. And we just got it in our gym. So, it's got like two, three sets of this. Because we got chest and back. Normally I just warm up my back. Sometimes I hit a little bit of pec tech beforehand, but we just do. And then we go into heavier bench, and then just high push it, and then heavier like cable rows, depending on how I like it. If I'm feeling good that day, I'm feeling good. And then pec deck, a lot of hypertrophy in that, and the high lap pull downs, high rows. And then some incline to machine bench, make train some traps, but yeah, let's get into it. <laughs>
Alright, so this is after the gym. All I gotta say about the list, I don't know how it's gonna turn out when I'm editing, because my camera looks like it's really bright, I don't know. But I felt personally, during my posing, that I felt that I looked really, really good. I, the pump was nasty. I didn't really have a crazy chest pump by the end, because I had to wait for my machine. Which, I'm not bad, I was talking to a lot of people today, so it happens, but... Crazy pump. Bench has been feeling better than it has been recently. Bench, like, on my way down, like, I'm not feeling it. Or on my way up, I'm not feeling it. That day toward my last sets, I was feeling it more on my chest, which is what I want to be looking for. But I didn't really get good clips from benching. I'm, like, I hit one really good set in my cam, and I dropped the dumbbells too hard, and it shook my camera and turned it off. And I lost all the footage to it. But it was, that was, like, one of my top bench sets. Was, like, I had, like, eight reps, really solid, paused really great but i'm trying to get better at bench my bench has been like dropping down a little more i'm not really feeling bench a lot anymore but i'm trying to get a little bit better at it but like my warm-up lap did that lap pull down felt amazing too which is normally not the case but felt great and then heavy rows didn't feel crazy but i was getting a good squeeze and a lot of weight on my back on the way down which is what i focus on on like heavy rows like that I'm not like i'll get a good squeeze on the way up but I want to control the weight down and stretch my back out and like control it. It gives me a thicker back. I don't have the best back, but but it gives me a thicker back. And then what I do after that peg deck. Uh, the clip I threw in there, well, the first clip, I was just too light, so many reps, but good squeeze. Second set, pretty heavy for me. And good squeeze but not crazy amount of reps and then incline fit machine i love incline fit machine so much incline fit machine is my go-to for like chest feels great on my chest and like dipping it out and just going hard on it and then i'll go like slow slow control it down and then pause up and then go just keep doing those till failure because my chest is really resilient when it comes to that weight but and then high rows i love that machine i i did pretty heavy which is a lot like a little heavier than i normally do but like five ten pounds but i had straps today so i could just my first couple of reps were like controlled and then like when i couldn't control it anymore when i couldn't get those full reps i kind of started throwing it and just getting that pull back and that control down just pull back and pull back just throwing it felt amazing though like top tier back pump but what else should I talk about? Didn't do any cardio today. I haven't hit like a lot of hip pain. I pulled my or I strained my right hip, which is not fun. I had only had a spam. All I did yesterday for leg day, I tried leg press, it hurt. I tried quads, it hurt, but hamstrings felt didn't hurt, and I just spammed hamstring curls, calves, and I did some traps while I was there. But uh Posing was good and got to talk to a lot of people today. I had really fun. Um, I know there was something I was going to talk about. Why I haven't left this phone when it's, I have topics on my phone. Let me pull that up. Let me pull that up. Oh, talking in the like when I saw in the intro, I was so scared. I was like terrified. But all right, so my phone ended up dying, or my camera ended up dying, whatever. <clears throat> but like I was saying, like. I don't know if I'm even gonna put it in there. But, um, like talking in the gym, like to my camp, I'm fine with like talking to like, I talk to like everybody in my gym and like, I'm used to that. But like, I don't know, like talking to my camera is like so weird and like, so like scary for me. And I can't do it for some reason. I do not know why. I'm just like, I'm like, I was filming that intro when I was doing my lap put on them. Like, and everybody's looked at me and looked at my camera as normal and I'm like, and I start talking to myself. I'm like, oh my god. I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear me, Nick, because I am so quiet. Like, I was like, I, that was really out of my comfort zone. I'm really not used to that. But, uh, it was, that was tough. That was tough. And then it, it took me so long to get this video out because I have just not been feeling my list lately. I feel like, I'm, I don't know, I try to get, like, really good content. It's like, I don't know, like, perfectionist, like, kind of stuff. Like, I'm like, 
I watch a lot like Lex Little. He has like some of like the best videos like in cinematic videos and like crazy stuff like that. And I like that kind of style stuff, but it's like so hard to get. Like for me. And like I'm I don't look like him, I'm not as strong as him. And like that's also a really big like confidence issue I struggle with is like like my strength. Like I am so much on but it's like one of my biggest like insecurities when I'm in the gym. But like I want to make like those like really good cinematic videos that have like the best pumps, like best lighting, like best bench sets, best best sets, like looking insane. But I'm like trying to get better to like to post even like the bad days. But a lot of the other days I'm just, I've been trying to film a chest and back day because I haven't posted that yet, and I just kept forgetting to like charge my camera or something like that or like to bring it forgot my tripod something like that but i have filmed some of it i filmed one with my buddy but i filmed it like i filmed it like this way instead of this way for youtube which i can't put that on youtube because it looks wacky like that but uh i'm like i've been struggling recently uh mental health has been actually pretty good though like i mean everybody has their tough times in secret but like my when my diet's right i'm feel so much better and like just like having a good pump because my diet's right or having look like looking a lot better because my diet's right makes me feel so much better in the gym like even after like the whole day but i also i just i also worked five days this last week and i've been kind of i was off my game for a little bit but and now i'm prepping for college and it's I, I don't have any excuses like I could have done it I know that but I have like a problem like procrastinating and not doing it like I could do it like easily but like I don't know I gotta get better at it I'm trying to get better at it I was doing pretty good for a while uh, but I don't know my head just got in like trying to make better YouTube videos every single time but I also watched Sam Sulak and his videos are pretty easy and I kind of like that style too but I have no, I have no idea. But my problem is, I'm, I feel like I'm not big enough or strong enough to be posting the way like some of these other people be doing because they like actually have like crazy strength and like I don't know. But, like I'm not very big because of my disability. I'm not gonna get crazy jacked very quick. But I've been doing this for like three years, which gives me decent experience. And I know a lot about lifting, and it, I have, I had to learn a lot about lifting to figure out what I need and how it like how it works for me even though I'm different and like I have pretty good advice because I've learned a lot of stuff and I've researched a lot of stuff but I feel like people will find my advice less credible if I'm smaller because my disability or if I'm not strong or aesthetic or but that's just some thoughts but I'll save the rest of my thoughts for the next YouTube video I'm going to be posting Mondays and Sundays, hopefully. That's the goal, two times a week on YouTube. But I'm going to be try, try to post like four times a week on TikTok, maybe. I don't know. I'm not very good at I've been mm, I've been slacking, but we're going to try to get back into it. So if you guys made it all the way to the end, thank you guys for watching. I don't know how the editing process is going to go, but I'll see you guys in the next one, I guess. Hopefully I make it on my... Posting schedule.